Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me in this busy part of town. We're playing Elix, and yeah, we've, uh, we have some options here, or ideas, or concepts, or things that we want to do. You know, smoking's bad for you. You shouldn't do it, Mrs. Cultivator Lady. Anyway, we're looking for the uh, smithing of uh, blackness. We are, well, we have things that we want to do. And then we have uh, searches that we need to do as well. Oh, I have to take this. I have to take this. Oh, please, no one see me. Oh, please. No one saw me. It's so good. Oh, my God. What'd I get? Oh. Ooh, and it's going to work out perfectly. That's like literally the build that I'm doing almost almost exactly. It's going to be a little bit off, but that's really close. This is a very special magic sword. It poisons. It's poison kills silently and painfully. Oh, that's so cool. Well, oh, I guess I shouldn't steal anything else. I am going to do a quick save immediately, so this is going down in the annals of history as my one victory. Hi, Cinda. I totally didn't do anything I shouldn't have done. I hope you didn't pay much attention to the the man behind the curtain there. And you're here for what? I am here to steal from Cinda a little bit later on. If you want to come outside, I mean, we could discuss this if you wish. I'm right here. Come on out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want his. Oh, I want your axe. Your axe looks so much cooler than my stuff. Get out of here. Oh boy. All right, we're doing it. Needs a key. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm stealing the potion. I have not learned my lesson. All right, Are so. Are you lost? No, no, I'm not. I'm good. So I'm gonna come back behind there and just, you know, we're gonna have you we're gonna have a not try conversation. I'm just checking out the cool stuff yet. Look, there's arrows over here. Why can't you hand me some of those things? Cause like I use arrows. Those are things that I use. Anyway, Cinda, let's talk. Uh, you must have something to offer apart from shards. Uh, sounds like you have a problem. Okay, let's go with that one. It sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. Yeah. But let's start with the Isen Clan promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned. And then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorals returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. She's if we not don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. Heck yeah. Then why should you care if our warlords don't? You know, it's it's a good clean diet, I I suppose. It is a fantastic weight loss plan, but your eyes are terrifying. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh you're right. Why should I care? Can I help? Can I help? You? Well, I'm not one to turn down that sort of offer. My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angram. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. Angram. These okay. warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. It's pretty important. But let's see them try fighting when they've not weapon. eaten for a week. Can you tell Angram that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Nice. Um. And where is the the where dude? Where can I find this Master Thorold? The pilgrim has been gone for so long. I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. You left. Ooh. All we know is that his leaving had something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly? I don't think anyone knows. Uh, um, well? It sounds like these supply problems are getting you down. No guards for escorting the supplies here or to distribute them afterwards. Outlaws and clerics stealing some of what we do send. Yes, it's not just you. I had my armor stolen by an outlaw. Outlaws. The one thing you can trust them to do is to steal things. That and you know where they take Probably the why they're, they're outlaws. Well, if they're true outlaws, there is only one place they'll take them. Straight to Tavar and Ooh. a share of the profit. Interesting to know. 
Okay, I'll talk to Angram for you. I will speak to Angram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best, but we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. So they're eating like mutant burgers. That's got to be uncomfortable and a little concerning, right? Like, oh, we killed this mutated, horrible, evil turkey chicken monster of doom. Do we eat it? Eh, tastes like chicken, but it's mutated chicken, and what is that going to do to you? It's it's a little scary. It's a, a, little, a, little, a little scary. Teach me something. All right, what of can you course. teach? Well, we have learning points. We still don't have any stats that we need to learn anything because, of course, we don't. Why would we have stats that are actually useful? It's fine. Well, we have the skill points. Practitioner, what does that do? Uh, receive more experience for completing missions. Cool. Bookworm. Eh. Oh, there's way more stuff. Look at all that. If I was more intelligent, I could become synthetic. But I'm not. Mm. Wow. Well, I'm not very cunning or intelligent, so this does not seem like this is going to be the person that I am going to go to to do things. Oh, man. That's going to take a long time before I get to that point. Really? All of this stuff is based off of intelligence? Man, it's going to be difficult. Like, I already feel like just using equipment that's not just the worst thing ever is already absurd. Ugh. Can we trade? Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. Well, I'm not necessarily what I need. It's what I. Forge wrench. Ooh, is that a weapon? <gasps> it is. It looks cool. Oh, we can get a cowl. It's really lame. For 190, I don't know if that's worth it. Eh. How about I sell to you? That's only worth 600. I feel like I'm, I'm getting robbed slightly here. I'm going to get rid of one of my, two of my rusty axes, I think. So it's going to increase that. I'm going to get rid of the iron bar. Um, I'm not a berserker yet, so I don't necessarily need to use that. Oh, it gives me plus five armor. Aww. All of these are good things. Um, I have hunter's pants and I have worker armor. Didn't... Oh, it was, just, it was the pants I replaced. Alright. Let's get rid of those. And then I just have like a million other things that are in my inventory that I don't know what I need and what I don't need. Like, I assume at like some point... We're going to come across stuff that's just not worth anything. Like this, right? This only has a value. It's a trophy. So I... Uh, I feel like I'm going to do something that I'm going to regret here. <sighs> I feel like if I sell these things, that maybe somebody down the road will be like, Oh, I want three pelts. And then I've sold the three pelts, and then that's it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'm hoping that I am. But we're going to start selling stuff here. Like generally speaking, trophies are... That is a lot. Okay, good. That is a lot of clicking for me. Oh, good. It looks like all of this stuff is just... Hopefully, vendor food? I kind of wish there was like a sell-all-junk thing, so I would know inherently. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh, the last thing, the golden nugget... Useful to those with the crafting skill. Oh, the right skills I can make something from this. All right, so I can't sell that either. Sorry, I got all I got all carried away. All right, I'm gonna keep those things. The tape just says very sticky. These don't seem to make any difference. I I am sorry. I was getting a little out of a uh, a little bit out of my uh, dealy there. All right, these all seem okay. What? Oh, that's used to... Oh. Cool. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I, I guess I should probably read at one point or another. 
Useful to hammer nails into a wall or anything else that needs nails put into it. This is literally junk. Oh no. What's the other stuff? Oh. This makes me this makes me very nervous, folks. That means the other stuff that I had wasn't necessarily junk. Maybe I should buy it back. I think I probably will. Well, you know what? This is all important stuff. Like, we need to go through these things and learn what we can and can't get away with. Well, that's actually worth quite a bit. Apparently I had two of those. These are valuables. This is junk. Uh, currency from the old world popular with collectors of antiques and can be traded. So it can be traded for Alexa. Okay. I guess these are all just things that I can sell straight up. Toilet paper. Coarse rough does the trick, but it does a trick. Toilet paper would be pretty valuable here. I'm also going to get rid of the cigarettes. Incinerated and inhaled seems crazy, but some free people seem to like them, so it's useful to sell. Oh man, we had a whole bunch there. I don't... Oh, that's just junk too? Okay. Instructions to make a lifeline? So we have recipes now. Then we have our... Okay. Alright. And then I have a casket that I can sell. And I think everything else is relatively important. It's good to know that the jackhammer has a use. I mean, we got it. I didn't know what to do with it. Now I know. So that's good. Um, since these are trophies, I, I'm going to keep them. I don't know that I need to, but I'm going to. Just in case they're used for something. And I'm okay. I think that's that's good. We're going to accept the trade. And hopefully, this works out pretty well for us. Alright, so I need to throw my, uh... Damn technology. Take it to the pit. Oh, the silence. Oh, I gotta find it, though. Is it a tool? It is a tool. Alright. Do I have to have the mining, like, proficiency or something? I feel like... Oh, we have, well, I, I guess we'll go check it. I'm sorry, guys and gals. I know this is all a little bit strange, but let's go check. We know where there's iron ore real, real close to here, so let's go take a quick peek. Take a gander, as it were. Oh, the good old inventory stuff. I wanted to show you guys at least once, and I also wanted to like do the first one on camera with all of you guys, so you knew what was going down with the inventory, what you can sell, what you can't. Again, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm doing things a little bit slowly, and I'm being a bit more cautious than maybe some folks would, but hopefully that does pay off. Or we find out down the road, you know, that we can do other stuff. Oh yeah, it says I can mine it now. Check it out! That's awesome. So I can mine Alexit and all sorts of stuff. Is this going to cave in on me? No? Oh yeah, it made me nervous. Oh, that's that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Alright, cool. Yeah, whine about my, my magical powers later. I don't care. Alright, any random stuff I can steal? Oh, I got some Cultivator's Loaf and uh, Flame Leaf. Uh, ooh, Mutant's Leaf. Hello. Or, uh, Mutanot's Leaf. Nah, I'm not gonna take that with this many people around. Alright, let's go see what's inside here. Maybe this is the blacksmith area? I doubt it, but maybe. Bag of cultivators. There's nobody in here. And hopefully there's no one that's going to be in here. Gland soup. Oh boy, does that sound yummy. Nope. Born's chest. Well, I'm going to apologize in advance for stealing your chest if I can get into it. It looks like I'm going to need a key, though. I'm almost curious as if there was like a sneaking mechanic, but... Needs a key. No, nah, it needs a key, of course. Like we can sneak around. I know if you press control, it does put you into walk mode. Just in case you guys ever do that on accident. And you're like, oh no, 
I can't. I think if you just press shift, it breaks you out of it. Yeah, it does. But still, just something to think about. Something to be aware of. Alright, we have some stuff here. 20 health. Fried meats 12 and gland soup. Mm. That is 20 health as well. That's poison resistance, though. We actually have a couple of these. Alright, I'll do that, and I guess I'm gonna... I don't want to do all 30, because I, I feel like... If we do all 30... We might find a better recipe down the road, and it's just gonna be, like, a huge waste. So, like, I want to keep some meat on... Oh, oh, the dogs are angry, folks. The dogs are angry. So just disregard any horrible sounding, like, animals or things in the background. It's totally all part of the game, as I'm sure you all know. Clearly. Is that an apple tree? I mean, I'd have to assume. I mean, why else would there be a bunch of apples laying around? Or people just really bored and they like to throw apples around. I don't know. Who's to say? Alright, so our uh, attempts to find the blacksmith haven't really happened yet. I mean, we, we've tried and we failed so far. We did find at least one person. So that's good. This is definitely not the blacksmith on this side. Do we remember who it was or is it just a, a random place in here? Oh, this is nice. I actually like this place. I'm sure I've already pilfered everything. Oh, I have not. Nobody saw anything? What's going on? Yeah. Just kind of casually looking around. Not doing anything I'm not supposed to do. I should probably talk to him. Ugh, I, I hate not getting any progress done. Or at least it doesn't feel like it, right? So you don't think uh, tech should be forbidden, so is there anywhere to trade here? Is there anything else you don't like about the Zerks? Tell me more about the clerics. Hmm. So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized, and what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick. Nice. And whatever you want to buy. You'll need to find the shards to pay. Say, you look like you could do with something to eat. Take this as a gift. Uh, okay, that was pretty random. Thank you for your food, I guess. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. That sort of so janky. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Uh. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. Well, it's safer here, behind these walls, than out there with the mutants. True. Particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. You just had five of them. I was traveling in Edan with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow, Ooh. and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliath. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. That's fair. Or is there anything else you don't like about the Zerks, bud? Is there anything else you don't like about Berserkers? Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair, they help those around them, and there's the wonder that is Berserker magic. And if you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here. All of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws. It's fair. The people of Tavar might as well be mutants, the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them. Is it? It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the berserkers? Run off to the outlaw way of life? Or follow an interest in technology to the clerics? We think we, I think we all know the answer to that one. I'd like to know more about the clerics. I'd like to know more about the clerics. Is that so? You want to learn of Kalan and the technology he offers those who follow him? 
Well, the journey to Ignodon wouldn't be easy, but you would be welcome there. I can guarantee that. Yeah. Tell me more about him, buddy. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Uh-huh. Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space. Cool. Or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that Golden Age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that, with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet. I agree. That it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. I like it. Alright, I kind of wish he would have like told me where his weapon was, because I would totally go get it. Does she have a... She has a gun on her back. Or is that a, like a weird crossbow? Maybe it's a crossbow. Yeah, it's a crossbow. It looks an awful lot like a gun. Just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, we still haven't figured out where the heck the blacksmith is. Um, there's a weird tunnel. Uh, do we know what this is over here? Move. I will, I will stab you in the eyeball. It will be unpleasant. Alright, Jora, talk to me. We haven't spoken yet. What do you got for me? Hey, what's that you're hiding there? What are you talking about? There, on your arm. What is that? Uh, um, it's an agitator. Haven't you seen one before? I guess I'm going to say that. It's an adjutor. An adjutor, there I've you go. Seen one before. I had no idea how to I've pronounce seen it. One. I've seen several. It's Elix technology, and that sort of device is forbidden to berserkers here in Goliath. Carrying a piece like that openly on your arm could get you into trouble. Okay. I'm not carrying it, it's implanted. I'm not carrying it. It's an implant. An implant? Well, that gives you a reason for not removing it. Well, you don't look like an owl. Too much color in your cheeks, <laughs> too much shine in your eyes. That, and you've not tried to kill me. Still, You're welcome. best you know that should you find any other Elix technology on your travels, you should take it to the pit for disposal. It's fair. So, yeah. Let's see how he gets stuff done, being back in the Middle Ages and all that stuff. How do you get anything done without technology? We haven't rejected technology completely. We have rejected Elix technology. That's fair. And as you can see around you, we have done fine without it. A clean life. Life as it was before the comet. Life grown from mana. Now, that's a better use for Elix than building devices. So, we collect technology, extract the Elix from it, and throw the scrap into the pit. Huh. The pit? That's where we take all forbidden technology. Once the Elix has been extracted there, it goes to the mana shrine, and the junk left over goes down into the pit. Fair. We cure the soil of Elix's poison and use it for healing. You will find our healers on the upper ring. They'll show you how we use its power. Interesting. Why not do that and use technology? So if you need Elix, why do you want to get rid of it? If Elix is so bad, why do you trade using Alexit? Uh, all of those are vi viable questions. Why not do this and use technology? You sound like one of those technophiles, looking uh. forward and not knowing their history. Listen, there are books from the Great Fall that say there were other ways to power machines, yeah. but most of them poisoned the air and the soil. Yep. And so, Amric and the Forefathers decreed that all technology that poisoned our world should be forbidden. And right at the time machines were forsworn, and we started to make Magalan pure again, mana was given to us. Magic is nature's reward for our rejection of technology. And huh, if you have neat. magic, why would you want technology? Depends on the limitations so the of magic. Elves pump Elix into themselves, the clerics feed it to machines, and we transmute it into magic. Huh. Surely technology makes life easier. Such is temptation. The Albs take Elix. They get stronger, but what have they become? Victorious. They're beating you. <laughs> In the short term, they don't even know what they're fighting for. How can they ever be victorious if they let themselves become machines? True. They have a love of Elix, a need for it, but as to why? If we knew that, perhaps we could talk with them. But they have retreated into Zaycor, only to be seen when they come to kill. That's rough. And they're changing. 
becoming less human. While our mana helps us cast magic, it's toxic to the Alps. But Alps can cast magic. Yes, yes. Now there is something I don't understand. Huh. Well, we are running out of time. But I think we can get a little bit more out of this. Let's finish the conversation with him and then we'll continue the search for the blacksmith in the next episode, I guess. We'll get through the town eventually, folks. We will. So if you need Elix, why do you want to get rid of it? Ah, Amrex Paradox. We are told Elix is the center of all ills in the world, and yet it is also the cure. So we collect it, transmute it, and hope we can win the race against those who would use it for destruction. You could help us with that. That's fair. Um... You want me to collect Elix? You must have seen that monster made of metal that sits on the horizon. That oh boy. Alp converter. What about it? The Alps built it to refine Elix here in Adan, but our warriors forced them to abandon it. Nice. That machine is a thing abhorrent to nature, but we can make use of it. Well, of the Elix in it. Amrex Paradox. Let's take that horror and make it magic. It won't be an easy task, but I need to get some parts from the converter that have a high elix concentration in them. Can you do that? Um, maybe. Why not use Alb technology to get the elix you need? Hmm. Why not use Alb technology to get the elix you need? And where do we stop on that road? When we are feeding people into that machine like they do? Amrek and the Pilgrim agree. Magic is nature's cure. Technology, its curse. The world hearts will purify Magalan without the need for machines. It's up to us to tidy up the mess that those machines have already made. Huh. Okay, well, if it's, yeah. If Elix is so bad, why do you trade using Elixit? You mean, why not turn it into mana? It's Elix, isn't it? Yes, but the concentration in it is just too low to produce mana. Maybe one day we'll manage it, but until then, it's useful. Everyone spends it, so we do too. I'm glad it's the Pilgrim and the Warlord who have to decide all these things. It makes my head hurt. No kidding. Uh, let's see, there's a process that would let... Uh, we don't have crafting. Alright. So, you won't be confiscating my Alexit? Oh, we need as much of it as possible to buy the things we need. So, please, trade while you're here. That's fair. Well, I can attempt this. I will get you the converter parts you want. Good. Great. Thank you. Be careful, though. Last guy we sent disappeared. He promised he'd be back quickly. Never seen again. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like the way this is going to pan out is I think that's back where the oh the horrible horrible person is um that dude that did the thing and the junk and the stuff What what are you talking about? The guy with the club is the guy that went missing. Good I'm able to steal while he's not paying attention. Anyhow, the guy that went missing that lost his weapon or his club, he's the guy they sent to go do the thing that they went to send to go do. And that also means that we're going to have to go back to that place with that giant mech thing that I ran away from because I'm a scared little girl. So that, that whole scenario. What's going on? You're just going to stare me down while you sweep, huh? Can I do this? Is this possible? I got to try it. <gasps> I'm a genius. I'm a dumb genius, but I'm a genius. All right, I'm leaving. That's enough of that. Anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and in the next episode, we will talk to Ornir, maybe? I don't know. We'll talk to Ornir. We'll continue to look around and see if we can't find ourselves the blacksmith, and eventually get back out on the road again and get some stuff done. I was hoping to get to the blacksmith and out before the end of the episode, but as I'm sure you've noticed, that is just not in the cards. Anyway, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will... See you later.